right, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Precious Ugweze. So we are going to quickly look at this beautiful problem in this video. Okay, so it says show that the log of A base B times the log of B base C times the log of C base D and all this is equal to one. You can see this is almost like a cycle. So starting with A and ending with A here. So can we show that this is actually equal to one? Okay, so what do we do? So now we are going to apply the rules of logarithm, of course, to be able to do this. And one of the rules that is going to help us is that first of all, what are we interested in? We can see that the number here is the base here. And so is it possible to make this to also become a base so that these two can have similar base? And then you can also see that the number here is the base here. So can we also make these two to also have, you know, similar, you know, bases just like what we want? So, and to do that, we remember there is a rule that tells us that if we have the log of, say, A base B, that this is the same thing as 1 all over log B base A. This is called the rule of change of base. Of course, this is what we are going to apply, you know, in solving this problem. Okay, so let's quickly go into it. So I'm going to change this to make the base here to become, you know, sorry, the number here to become the base. And to do that, we are going to have, okay, 1 all over the log of B base A, okay? And then times here, I don't need to change this. I will leave it the way it is, log B base C. Now, but I will need to change this so that the base, the number here will become the base here. So that's going to give me 1 all over the log of D base C. And then coming over here, um, I will, I am going to leave it the way it is because I already have something that uh, it looks like. And so that's going to give me log of uh, D base A. Now, since we want to get the right hand side, so we'll leave it and then try to see that this left hand side will give us that. Okay, so at this point, what do we do next? So I'm going to join the ones that have common bases together. So I will bring this upon this because it's multiplication. Of course, it is uh, associative. I'll bring this upon this and then bring this one upon this. And so that's going to give me the log of uh, D base A all over the log of B base A times. Now, this is now going to give me the log of uh, B base C all over the log of D base C. Now, why am I doing this? Because since the bases are the same now, so it means that there's also a rule in, math, in, in logarithm which we have also done. Please check that video. It tells us that I can also check change basis. For instance, if I have log x base y, I can write this as log of x to any base of my choice. I can say base z then all over. The only thing is that this y will also be to that same base z. So you are allowed to do this. And this is what is going to guide us in uh, what we have done here. So that means this is going to be simply equal to Okay, so this is going to take us to the log of, okay, this is, uh, let me put it this way, okay, so this is simply equal to the log of, this one now becomes D base B, then times, while this one becomes uh, log of uh, b base d okay because now you are just removing the common basis you are removing the common basis and then joining the two to become one log in each case and so what is this going to take us to all right so you can see that of course i can also change the base here yeah, to become the number and the number will become the base and if i do that I am going to get 1 all over log B base D, then times log B base D. And you can see both of them 
and now similar log b base d log b base d and so the implication is that two of them can cancel away and i am going to have one one so and this is going to simply give me one which is the required um, solution so you can see that it has given us the one as required okay so that's all i have for us in this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and ask questions wherever you wish whatever is not clear and we will always respond to you follow us on our social media handle and see you in our next class have a nice day bye